The Virginia Department of Transportation has prepared this presentation for individuals unable to attend in person the Citizen Information Meeting held in January 2019. The purpose of this Citizen Information Meeting is to present for public review the alignment options under consideration to meet the transportation needs for U.S. Route 220 from the North Carolina state line to the U.S. Route 58 U.S. 220 bypass near Martinsville, Virginia. This study is being completed in partnership with the Federal Highway Administration, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, and other federal, state, and local agencies to comply with the National Environmental Policy Act, referred to as the NEPA process. As part of this process, an Environmental Impact Statement, or EIS, will be prepared and made available for public review and comment. The EIS will document the purpose and need for the study, alternatives considered to address the transportation needs, environmental resources in the study area, and the estimated environmental impacts and costs relating to the alternatives retained for analysis in the EIS. The NEPA process will result in the identification of a single alternative that can be advanced to more detailed design and construction phases when funding is available. That alternative will be identified in the EIS document and approved by the Federal Highway Administration through a record of decision. VDOT has completed the scoping and purpose and need phases for the project with input from the public and regulatory agencies. The project is currently in the alternatives development stage of the process. Following the issuance of a record of decision by the Federal Highway Administration and identification of necessary funding, the project will continue into detailed design and construction activities. At this time, no funding has been programmed to advance the project beyond the NEPA study. There is no timetable or schedule for construction to begin. Opportunities for public input are available throughout the NEPA process. As part of the public outreach efforts between September 10th and October 10th, 2018, VDOT conducted an online public survey. A total of 775 survey responses were received. These responses documented how people use the corridor, informed the study's purpose and need statement, and help to develop the alignment options included in this presentation. A summary of the survey results has been provided on the study website. Based on those survey responses and regulatory agency review, VDOT, the Federal Highway Administration, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, and the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency agreed upon the purpose and needs statement. This statement sets the goals for the study and serves as the primary criteria in the alternative screening process. The study will identify possible improvements to enhance mobility for local and regional traffic traveling along the study corridor. The transportation needs to be addressed by the study include accommodate regional traffic, accommodate local traffic, and address geometric deficiencies and inconsistencies. Options will be screened using these needs to select alternatives for detailed study in the EIS and to identify a preferred alternative. Social and natural resource information will be collected as part of the EIS. This includes, but is not limited to, communities, low-income and minority populations, wetlands, streams, parks and recreational areas, wildlife and habitat, noise, air quality, topography, soils, geology, hazardous materials, and historic and cultural resources. A map has been developed based on existing environmental resource data. Additional field work and data collection will be undertaken over the next year to verify or add additional resources not currently identified. This information will be documented and provided in the EIS. A detailed image of the map is available on the project website. Several alignment options have been developed for consideration as part of the study. The alignment options under consideration include no build, transportation system management slash travel demand management, reconstruction of existing U.S. Route 220, new western alignments, and new eastern alignments. A more detailed map of the alignment options under consideration is on the project website. Alignment option 1 is the no-build alternative. This alternative proposes no changes to the existing roadway other than projects currently funded. This concept is required as part of the NEPA process and serves as the baseline for the evaluation of all options being considered. Alignment option 2 involves transportation system management and travel demand management improvements. This could include minor geometric improvements, improved traffic signal timing, park and ride lots, and consolidation of driveway access directly onto U.S. Route 220. While these improvements alone would not meet the purpose and need, 
they could be implemented in the future as part of a preferred alternative. Alignment Option 3 assumes the full reconstruction of existing U.S. Route 220 to provide an access-controlled roadway. This means U.S. Route 220 would only be accessed at interchanges, signalized intersections, or frontage roads. Access to residences, schools, businesses, and other properties would be on these frontage roads and would not have direct access to U.S. Route 220. This also creates a wider roadway footprint to provide access to the west and east sides of U.S. Route 220. Alignment options 4 and 5 consider an access-controlled roadway that begins on existing U.S. Route 220 and then extends onto new alignment. Alignment options 4A through 4D are four new alignments west of existing U.S. Route 220. And alignment options 5A through 5D are four new eastern alignments. For a more detailed map of the options, please visit the project website. Each option includes a four-lane divided highway with two travel lanes in each direction and uses a portion of the southern segment of the existing U.S. Route 220 roadway. The options tie into U.S. Route 58 at existing interchanges or new locations. Each new alignment option assumes there would be interchanges at the southern and northern ends of the corridor, as well as an interchange in the middle of the corridor to provide access to and from local roads. Based on input received from the public, VDOT and partner agencies will identify the alignment options that will be advanced for detailed study. These options will be further engineered so that potential impacts and cost estimates can be documented. VDOT will seek additional public comment in late summer or early fall 2019 on a recommendation that will be presented to the Commonwealth Transportation Board and included in the draft EIS to be published in January 2020. We appreciate your interest in the Martinsville Southern Connector Study. Please provide your comments using the survey on the project website. Comments will be received through February 2, 2019. For more information, please continue to visit the study website at www.virginiadot.org slash Martinsville Connector.